Hi, I'm TK from The Training Company. In this series of videos, we are going to take a look at five basic components of broad-based black economic empowerment, sometimes called triple BEE or just BEE for short. Now you might ask yourself, why do I need to worry about BEE in the first place? Well, the short answer is your pressure is going to come from your customer or your client asking for your BE certificate, as your compliance or non-compliance has a direct impact on their ability to score points on the procurement section of their scorecard. So you might feel that you know this is um, not quite the way that we should go about creating jobs and economic freedom for our people. Quite frankly, uh, as a business, those, those feelings are irrelevant because if my biggest customer is asking for something, in this case the BE certificate, I'm going to need to do whatever it takes to provide that to them or run the risk of losing business. Number one, our BE strategy and its components should not sit in isolation. Yes, you can focus on the scorecard, getting the maximum possible points, trying to get the best possible level, but we do run the risk by doing that, that we are missing out on a couple of things. First of all, we could end up duplicating effort. That costs the business time and or money, uh, and that is something that we actually don't want. Secondly, we could be exposing ourselves to other risks, which you might find out about in a, a subsequent video. Or thirdly, we could end up with a score or level that could have been better had we approached this holistically. Now, there are also some dependencies on the scorecard. So, first of all, our BE strategy and its components is important in its own right. That's obviously why you are watching this video. But there are other pieces of compliance and other pieces of legislation that have a direct impact on our ability uh, to build a scorecard and to get the best possible level. Two of those to note. The first one is employment equity and that is our accountability to the Department of Labor. Very important as that is a separate piece of legislation that I also should be compliant with and non-compliance or non-conformance will have its own risks. The second one is my skills development submissions and those I make to my CETA, my Sector Education Training Authority. Again there, the codes are very, very clear that it is only once I've got the correct submissions to my CETA that I can score skills development points on the BE scorecard. Now all of this gets drawn together and that is normally through our core strategy as a business. Each and every business or organization should have a very clear core strategy that firstly aligns all of these initiatives but then drives the business forward. One element of that, just as a matter of interest, are things like talent attraction and retention, something that a lot of businesses struggle with. And again, my strategy on my employment equity and my submissions to my CETA needs to also align with the overall core strategy of the business. And that is it for this video. If at this point in time your head is spinning a little bit, and this all seems very confusing. I've been there, I know how you feel. What you need is someone to guide you step by step through the process. And that is what the training company can do for you as well as for your business. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a very last thought, look after yourself and be kind to others.